Twas my life's goal to slay Nidhogg. But I find there is little joy to be had in its accomplishment. But you have rid the world of a hate-filled creature, and ended a bloody war in so doing. I lost my family to Nidhogg's flames, and twas with fury in my heart that I took up the lance. Every blow I struck, I struck in the name of vengeance. We were not so different, he and I. I will not judge you for your deeds. I have not the right. Too many innocents have perished in the name of my greater good. Yet even with all that has passed, the tale is incomplete. We are short a great worm's eye. Of the pair which Haldrith took from Nidhogg, only one is known to us, the one I bear. What then became of the other? Why did Nidhogg, who had taken such pains to prolong the Dragonsong War, suddenly decide to hurl his entire army against the walls of Ishgard? Lord Commander. Aye. The deed is done. Nidhogg is slain. What? In the city? A battle with whom? At once, Lord Commander. Hold firm till our return. Fighting has broken out in the city. Lord Emmerich was sparse with the particulars, but it seems some commoners threw open the gates to a force of heretics. I gave no order to attack. Are we to mark the end of the Dragonsong War by spilling the blood of our own? Mayhap Praesvogel was right about us. Let us away, warrior of light. The people must be saved from themselves. Wait! I would join you! There has been enough violence. I will appeal to my people in the city and make them see reason. Come then, Lady Iceheart. Let us write the final chapter in this damnable war. A small army of heretics has invaded the city, Your Eminence, but there is no cause for concern. A sizable contingent of our soldiers is already in place to repel the Dravanian assault, and the intruders will soon find themselves outnumbered and outmatched. Our plans proceed apace, then? Yes, Your Eminence. This unrest shall serve to feed the people's fear of the heretics and the dragons both and lend renewed fervor to their prayers for deliverance. Very good. Grant our guests what time they need to sow a measure of chaos, then order the Temple Knights to crush them. Your will be done. The moment is at hand. Excellent. All shall soon be in alignment. It is time for the bringer of light to die.
swords! Sheathe your swords! There is no need for further bloodshed! My lady! She is come! Hear me, brothers and sisters! The war is ended! Nidhogg is no more! Aye, <clears throat> it is so! This adventurer and the Azure Dragoon laid the Great Worm low! <clears throat> The endless cycle of violence between man and dragon was born of our forefathers' treachery. You have followed me, bled with me, to bring this truth to light that we might all know peace. But Nidhogg is dead. Nidhogg is dead, my friends. He who bore such hatred towards Ishgard is dead! Let his hatred die with him, I say! Let us sheathe our swords and go in peace! Have we lost? No, my friend. Far from it. At long last, the peace for which we have so desperately fought is within our grasp. And I, for one, would not forsake it! Seize the witch! Let none escape! Providing aid and succor to the wounded should be our first concern. If the heretics mean to observe the peace, then it would be folly not to do the same. 